Hey all, Wild for Games here, your Streamlab advisor to help you on everything you need to know about CloudBot. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of modules. Let's go. If you're not familiar with modules, to put it simply, all it is is features that allow for more engagement within your channel that allows viewers to spend their loyalty points for a chance to earn more. Now to set this up, make sure that you have your CloudBot enabled. When clicked on the module tab, there you will see all the different modules that you have access to. I like to break this down into three categories. You have chat interactions, games, and media share. For chat interactions, you have chat alerts, emote pyramid, and emote combos. The chat alert module posts a chat notification whenever someone follows, subs, hosts, or raids your stream. It's a pretty straightforward process. Just tick on the module and go to preferences. By opening up the accordion, you will be able to add new chat alerts to each category. If you simply don't want an alert for a certain action, you just have to toggle that off. If you have clicked on add chat alerts under any of the categories, a window will pop up where you can set up extra variations. You can even change the parameters of the message by including their username, which will replace the name of the donor. The amount will get replaced by the amount of the donation and the currency, which will get replaced by the currency in which they donated in. When you've made all the necessary adjustments, just click save and you're good to go. The Emote Pyramid module is designed to congratulate viewers that can successfully build an Emote Pyramid in the chat. In case you're not familiar with what Emote Pyramids are, they are basically pyramids built out over chat using emotes. Depending on how you set up your emote preferences, the module will only congratulate when a certain number is reached on the build of a pyramid. Emote combos are meant for a group of viewers to work together to create a long combo of the same emote. Once the combo is interrupted, the bot will inform chat how high the combo has gone for. Under our next big grouping of modules, I like to classify them as games. You have Heist, Gamble, 8-Ball, Slot Machine, and Duel. Essentially, these are just modules based on games that allow for a risk-reward system. You risk a certain amount of your currency that you're willing to put up front and a chance to win to get a reward at the end to get more currency at the end. Now, all of these module games that are based on a risk-reward work off the loyalty system, so you have to make sure you have that enabled if you want to use these at all. The games that are currently accessible to users at the moment on Streamlabs is the Heist game, which allows your viewers to work together to go on an adventure to earn more loyalty points. The Gamble mini game, which allows your viewers to gamble with their loyalty points by rolling a hundred sided die. The eight ball game allows viewers to ask questions to the eight ball. Slot machine mini game allows viewers to potentially earn extra points from spinning the slot machine. And Duel allows viewers to duel with each other for points. Now each one of these games is really fun to introduce to your stream because it makes it more interactive. Now if you're confused on how to set up these games or how they will actually work within your stream, don't worry, I got your back and so does Streamlabs. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below that'll take you to the blog of these games that'll show you how each one works and how to set it up if you need a little extra help. The next module we have is Media Share, which allows your viewers to interact with Streamlabs Media Share widget and add requests directly from chat. In order to use this module, you actually need to do a few steps prior. You first need to enable MediaShare module, then enable the MediaShare widget, add the MediaShare widget as a source by using the widget URL or using Streamlabs OBS by simply add the MediaShare widget. Then you are required to have MediaShare tab open in your recent events, either in streamlabs.com or through your Streamlabs OBS. Once you've done all of those steps, you will be ready to use the Media Share module. When clicked on the preferences for the Media Share module, this is where you can refine it down to your liking. You will have the ability to change the queue limit, max duration, max request per user, votes required to skip, limit request to music only, and spam security. Once you're done setting up, you can use the following commands displayed here on screen 
for you and your users to interact with the media share. Again, if you need any more assistance, I'm gonna put a Streamlabs link down below that'll take you through exactly what each command does in case you need a little more help. Introducing modules is an awesome way to get your viewers to engage within your channel, which is what I want for you and what Streamlabs wants for you. Now, using a lot of these modules requires you to use the loyalty system. And if you're confused on how to do that, don't worry, I'm gonna put a video up here on screen. It's gonna show you all the ins and outs of how to use the loyalty system. Once again, my name is Wild for Games, and I will see you all in the next Streamlabs video coming out real soon. Take care all and peace.